Welcome to episode 2 of Flipping PCs Until I Buy a House. In today's episode, we're going to be building up some budget gaming PCs. If you haven't already watched episode 1, then go watch it. It'll be linked down below. Also, smash the like and hit subscribe. For the first PC starting us off is this combo deal that I got in my local market about maybe two weeks ago. And it has an i7-4790 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it came with the IO shield. The i7-4790 is still a pretty strong CPU considering how old it actually is. It's a 4-core, 8-threaded chip and it's on the 1150 platform. And the motherboard that it's going in isn't as good as a CPU, but it'll get us by. It's a pretty basic ASUS H81 motherboard. It's in the micro ATX form factor, but it only has two DIMM slots and it has a pretty lacking rear IO. And the RAM is nothing to write home about, but it is better than four separate sticks of four gigabytes. This is a crucial kit of two by eight gigabyte sticks clocked at 1600 megahertz. And it's perfect for the motherboard since it only has two DIMM slots. Before I go over the rest of the parts, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor. Did you just build a new gaming PC or you got a brand new gaming setup but you're running an unactivated version of windows well today's video sponsor super cdk got your back head to their website it'll be linked down below find your desired windows 10 license and use the discount code spla for 25 percent off your order they also have windows 11. once you get your key just simply copy and paste it go to your activation settings and bam you activated windows and now your setup or your pc is 10 times better Thanks to Super CDK for sponsoring today's video and check the links down below in the video description. And the GPU we're gonna be pairing it with is something I used in the last episode when I tested out the PC that we built when it wasn't working. But anyways, it is a Zotac GTX 1050 Ti and it is an ITX version. I'm not sure if it's an actual ITX version, but it's a pretty small card and it requires no additional PCIe power. Normally I would say let's go and build this PC, but actually I don't have all the parts. I ordered a case probably, I think the last night actually on Newegg and it should get here in about maybe three days. So when that gets here, we will build this PC. So roughly about two weeks ago, I saw this guy in my local market. He was selling a PC. And of course, when I got there, I asked the normal thing I always do, do you have any more parts? And he came back and said yes. So I left there with about three motherboard combos. So let's test those and see if they work. Okay, a little backstory on this deal that I'm talking about. So it came with two motherboard combos and then a motherboard in a case. And I picked them all up for $125. This first deal here, it's on a really nice ASRock motherboard. But uh, as you can see, it has really one of these old copper coolers with just a bunch of copper fins everywhere. It's a Zalman cooler, but uh, if you can see, kind of bent in the fan it just rubs up on against them so i'm gonna take this fan off and then we will boot this up and see if it worked finally got the cooler off and i completely obliterated this thing oh well it was already broken At first glance, you guys can probably tell that this thing is completely dirty and covered in dust, and you would be right. Upon wiping off the CPU, we can see that it is a pretty underwhelming CPU for the motherboard that it is in. We got an i5-4570. I was hoping for something along the lines like an i7-4790K, or at least a K series of the i5. Let's boot this dusty thing up, and yeah, I'm not using a cooler, but it'll only be powered on for like a few seconds, so it's fine. After powering it on, well, just watch. Okay, I got this thing all set up. And to power it on and to test it out, I'm going to be using a GTX 645. Just in case the motherboard goes out, I wouldn't want it taking out a better GPU. So this thing is basically trash and I got it for free. Alrighty, flip the power switch and hit the power button. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Took like two seconds. Oh, geez, that booted up quick. I'm not sure if you guys saw that with the glare. But there you go. It is working. That thing booted up in like two seconds. Pretty lucky that the first motherboard combo worked, considering how dirty it actually was. We scored an ASRock Fatality Z87 Killer, which is a motherboard that supports 4th Gen Intel. Then we got this CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's nothing special. It is a G-Skill kit of four sticks of four gigabytes clocked at 1600 megahertz. The next motherboard combo is yet again, another really dusty Z87 combo. This one has a bit of a better cooler. It looks like an old Hyper Evo, but it is barely attached. Getting it ready to power on, we can see that it springs to life and we can see the rest of the specs. 
The CPU is an i5-4670K, which is definitely better than the i5-4570. It is sitting on a pretty nice Asus ZD7 Pro motherboard. It has an onboard Wi-Fi and an onboard power button, which is something I don't see very often. And the RAM is a bit better than the first deal as well. It is a G-Skill kit clocked at 1600MHz, but instead of four separate sticks of 4GB, it is two sticks of 8GB. But it has slower timing, so whatever. The last deal is in a case, but it is completely destroyed and missing the side panel, so this thing is definitely going in the trash. Even the stock cooler is broken. It is a bit newer using DDR4, has an Intel i3-6100, which is not a super good processor, but oh well. It has a Gigabyte H110 motherboard, and I'm pretty surprised with this motherboard. Yeah, it only has two RAM slots, but it also has a Type-C port and a USB 3.1 port. Powering it on, we can see that it works. It has 8GB of RAM clocked at 2400MHz. It is a 2x4GB kit from Crucial. So all of those motherboard combos worked and that's a huge plus considering we got them for $125 or around $40 each. But anyways, it is still the same day. I just switched out of the hoodie because I got hot. So when that case gets here, I'll pick up the camera and we'll build up that PC. Smash like if you're enjoying the video. A few moments later. All right guys, I'm on my way to go pick up a graphics card right now. Instead of that 1050 Ti for the i7, I found a 1063 gigabyte version. So I'm getting that right now. All right, I just picked up the card. As you guys can see, it looks pretty clean. Sadly, it's a one fan model, so it's kind of teeny. But for 140, can't really complain. It's a decent price in today's market. Several days later. Yo guys, still no case. I'm still waiting on it. I'm walking, I'm leaving my apartment right now, actually. I'm on my way to pick up a bundle deal with a bunch of different parts. <sighs> All right guys, so we just got it. 110 bucks, it was a whole bundle deal, but like, three different sets of RAM, a GPU, a power supply, some fans, a free cooler, and an SSD. So here's everything that we got for 110 bucks. It doesn't look like much, but it was a pretty good deal to get like some RAM here, an SSD, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But here's the graphics card. It does work, I already tested it. I'm pretty sure it's an R9 270X. It's a two gigabyte version. It's kind of an older card, but for what I paid, mm, can't really complain. You got here, you got a HyperX kit. Uh, it's eight gigabytes of DDR4 right there. And you got a G-Skill kit, it's also 8 gigabytes. So these are gonna be perfect for like office builds here. You got 8 gigabyte kit, 8 gigabyte kit. This will be good for a gaming PC here. It's a 16 gigabyte kit of some EVGA RAM, which I've honestly never seen and it looks pretty clean. Then we got an Inland Professional uh, 120 gigabyte SSD. He said never use, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> then we got an EVGA 600 watt 80 plus white power supply. As you can see, it's putting out some pretty decent readings there. Then we also got some Sahara RGB fans, just a three pack of RGB fans. I think they're static RGB. That'll just be good for a budget build. And he just threw this in. It's a range tech. I don't know how to say it, but it's just a low profile, 140 millimeter cooler. Like I said, it wasn't the best deal, but for $110, you can't really complain. I'll have the full like price breakdown of what I paid for each part and what I'll just divide it out to be up on the screen right now. Yo, first off, I want to say sorry for the bad lighting. My main studio light took a shit on me like yesterday and I ordered a new one, but it doesn't get here in like a few days. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. But anyways, today i think someone is coming to buy a pc and this is the i7 gtx 970 pc and i lowered the price and the lowest i'm going to take is 600 and i think they're going to be paying that they're going to be coming around three o'clock and right now it is about 140 so i just have it set up to make sure it still works a few moments later yo so i just finally sold that pc and let me tell you guys those are the most annoying people i've ever sold a pc to imagine someone that's like 18 but they act like 12. And yeah, my cat's attacking my face. Anyways, sold it for 600, got a profit of around $100. I know it's not the best, but hey, I'm just happy it sold. Anyways, I'm still waiting for the studio light to get here so I can record me building the PC for you guys and you guys can actually see. And that doesn't get here for another few days. So I'm gonna end the episode here. If you made it to the end of the video, then let me know down below just saying I watched the whole thing and I'll drop a cookie in the comments for you. Anyways, to keep up to date with this series, go down below and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss episode three when it comes out. Smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.